Okay, I'm not really sure what's going on with the project at the moment. I haven't really done any work on it for the last like three weeks. I feel like I have a good excuse. I was traveling in Finland working on some other research project with a fellow mathematician Vadim Kuliko from University of Helsinki. We rented a cottage for like a couple of days in the middle of nowhere and tried to create an environment where we are not distracted by the outside world. And I think it worked out quite well in the end. I think we managed to do quite substantial progress on the project. This still doesn't justify the fact that we haven't really done much for this other LQ norm paper that I'm uh, making this vlog about. So that's why I was thinking that today I was force myself, I'll think about the problem, I'll try to write something down, I'll make some progress on it, and we'll see what happens. So I just realized that Etienne had already written down a special case of this article. It's the case when q is equal to infinity. And this case is actually very important in the graph case. And I think what I'll do now is that I'll just take what Etienne has written, create a new paper where I put like a to-do list, what I'm supposed to do, and uh, try to do all of them individually. So I think I'm now excited about it again. I think this argument that Etienne wrote is going to be crucial. It allows us now to take the first step towards the actual LQ norms. Of course, there's still the main bulk to do, so I hope that we can do some progress next week with Cliff, and um, hopefully we'll get this on the way again. Yeah, I think I'm going home now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you next week.